Weak J. Mm -hmm. Undisputed lightweight champion, Devin the Dream Haney. Yeah. Versus Vasil, the Matrix. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, what is this? High Tech? Yeah, High yeah, Tech. High Matrix. Tech. Yeah. Lomachenko. Yeah. I've been waiting for this job. <laughs> I've been waiting yeah. for this for a couple years. Yeah. What's this, your thoughts on it? This fight, to me, is a great fight, great chess match. Um, I look. I've been looking at both guys in camp. Uh, Devin Haney looks like he working to get a stoppage. You know what I mean? He looked real strong, placing his punches. You know what I mean? He looked. Of course, he's naturally fast, but he looked in camp. It didn't look like he was focusing on speed. It looked like he was more f focused on placement, power shots, sitting down on his shots, making sure he got the proper leverage. Lomachenko surprisingly in camp looked like he found new energy. He looked like he's real energized. You know what I mean? Look like I mean always himself being focused. You know, he 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 got all types of focusing drills, juggling and all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it should be an exciting fight for sure. Um, a lot of people say they think that uh, Lomachenko is gonna get inside early and make things trouble for Devin. A lot of people think Devin gonna jab his way to victory. I think it's just gonna be a good matchup where both guys gonna come out sharp. Lomachenko gonna try his trickery. You know what I'm saying? Try to get in inside as much as he can. But I honestly, even if he do get inside, I honestly think Devin not going to let him get off. You know what I mean? I think what I mean by that is the times where Lomachenko do get inside, I think Devin is going to wrap him up, hold on just long enough for the referee to break it up and get back to doing what he's doing, staying smart. But from from seeing what I'm seeing in camp, I'm also looking for Devin to after, for after the sixth round to be picking up the pace. And going for a knockout. So, you know what I mean? We see what happens. If if none of that happens, Lomachenko wins by a decision. You know what I mean? If if Devin can't handle what's in front of him, as far as the movement, the timing, things like that. But if Devin's able to establish a lot of shit off his jab, keep Lomachenko at bay, keep him tamed, then I think Devin will win off off of a, a unanimous, I mean a decision. But I don't think either guy will stop the other guy. I don't think that. I don't think it's going to go that far. But it could happen. You know what I mean? I can't say what won't happen. Does Devin need a stoppage to keep up with, I ain't going to say to keep up with Shakur and Gervonta, but they're coming off of really, really spectacular wins. Yeah. Right? And, you know, there, there's always the odd test, even though Devin is the undisputed champ. Yeah. Does he need a stoppage to keep up with keep the narrative that he's the best fighter at 135 pounds? I don't think he need a stoppage. I think he just need to look good. I just think I just think he need to just just go in there and get the job done and show that he's the better fighter. If he go in there and show that he's the better fighter and just keep keep complete dominance over Lomachenko, which which of course is not going to be easy. But if he pulls that off and make it a clear win, even if even if. Lomachenko do take some of the rounds, but if, if it's a clear win for Devin, he don't have nothing to worry about. You know what I mean? As long as he get the win. And that's what he trained for, and that's what he do. So, you know I mean, that's why it's going to be a great fight because Lomachenko, at the end of the day, you can't re disrespect his skill level. You know what I mean? So, it's just it's going to be a great matchup. That's what I think. Great matchup. Would a win submit his resume over the rest of the lightweight division? Um... If, if if you look at it, a win over Lomachenko is definitely better than a win over Ryan Garcia and um, Yoshino. Hmm. So, for sure. Give me a, a, a straight prediction for this fight. Straight prediction, um, I say eight rounds to four, Devin Haney. Decision. I think Devin going to do great. The first four rounds, I think the middle four rounds, Lomachenko will start to, you know, pour on. But I think he'll slow down after eight. I think 9, 10, 11, 12 belong to Devin Haney. Devin Haney by decision.